Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who topic video for today. So for this Doctor Who topic video, I thought I'd talk about Doctor Who, the collection range, and my predictions for the next couple of seasons that we've got coming out. So since 2018, Doctor Who has been coming out on Blu-ray in Doctor Who, the collection range, with season 12 being the first release, with season 19 being the second release in 2018. 2019, we had seasons 18, 10, and 23. Then, of course, in 2020, when we had the pandemic, we had season 20, season 26, and then, of course, season 14. And then in 2021, we had season 8. Then, of course, we had season 24, and then season 17. Last year, in 2022, we had season 22, and, of course, season 2. And for the first box set of 2023, it is, of course, season 9. So, I kind of want to talk about my predictions from the rest of 2023 down to, believe it or not, down to 2028. So, I really think these box sets will be finished by 2028. And I kind of want to talk about my predictions for these and what ones I think should be, the way I think they might be coming out. So, let's dive into it. So, in 2023, the second box set I've put is, of course, Season 20. Season 20, it's not a brilliant season, but it does have my all-time favourite Peter Davison story in it, a.k.a. The Five Doctors. Now, this one would be absolutely spot on to have for this year because we haven't really had a Peter Davison season since 2018, which was, of course, season 19. We haven't had no other Peter Davison season for the last four to five years. Yes, four to five years we've had no Peter Davison box sets whatsoever. Yeah, I don't understand why they've not kind of done another Peter Davison. I knew season 20 was rumoured back in 2020, but we're still waiting here for it. We still want season 20. You know, we I really want it for just for the five Doctors. I really love the five Doctors. Imagine the five Doctors in High Point 1 definition. And that was partly filmed outside in location footage. Imagine the location footage for the Blu-ray of season 20 for Ark Infinity when it went around Amsterdam. And then, of course, in The Five Doctors as well. That was also a film location. Then, of course, for the next... Well, so for the box set after season 20 for 2023, and this is the last one I put for season 23, season 15. Season 15 has been rumoured since 2021 where Louise Jameson took a picture of the lighthouse where they filmed horror of fang rock so i really think season 15 might be out this year because it's been a two right? coming up to two years at the end of this year since we've had a tom baker and the last one was of course season 15 and we do have only three seasons of tom baker left which is of course season 15 season 13 and season 16 so i do think season 15 might be out this year then, of course, jumping into 2024, and I've put two box sets down for 2024, going by the way they've done it in from 2018, because 2018 we had two box sets, 2019 we had three box sets, 2020 we had two, 2021 we had three, then two last year. I really think next year we're going to have two. So, the first box that I've put for 2024 is Season 6. Now, they could easily... This won't be 100% right, but I think Season 6 might be the next 60s box set. Now, the reason I think this is because there's nothing special about the Space Pirates, and I don't really think they want the Space Pirates to be animated or wait for it to be animated. Season 6 is the most complete Troughton season. Like, Season 2 was the most complete Hartnell season with only the Crusade missing, and they've done Teletrack Reconstructions for that one. Season 6 is actually in the, kind of the same boat as Season 2. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because in Season 6, we have the Dominators. That's actually in full, it, all five parts exist. We have, of course, the Mind Robber, which all four parts exist. The Invasion has been animated with Episodes 1 and 4 to basically help that story to exist. And that was the very first time a Doctor Who story was actually animated. Then, of course, we have the Croutons and the Caesar Death. And, of course, the War Games, which all do exist. And I really think, yeah, Season 6 might be the next season for the 60s because it is the most complete season. The only story it does need is, of course, the Space Pirates. And I really think there's no Tennis Night Reconstruction, so they might do something special about it. We just, I have got no idea what they could do for it. But 
I really think season six might be the first Troughton main season to come out on Blu-ray. And then the last season I've put for 2024 is, of course, season 25. Going by that, I mean, they're trying to, I think, since 2020, we kind of had, you know, a kind of, uh, Sylvester McCoy season. Because in 2020, we had Sylvester McCoy for season 26. 2021, we had season, twen uh, season 24. So I really think they might wait till next year for season 25. Now, season 25 even though it would make sense to put season 25 out this year. But I don't really think they're going to do two... I don't really think they're going to do, like, two 80 sets back-to-back. -back. There again, though, they did kind of do that for season 19 and season 18. And then again for season 23 and 26. So um, they might bring out that this year or next year. I really think it was going to be out either point this year or next year. Season 25, I would love it just for re Remembrance of the Daleks and, of course, The Happiness Patrol and Silver Nemesis. It's not too fond of the greatest show in the galaxy, but, yeah, you know. 2025. Now, this one is interesting because I've actually put three seasons to come out on Blu-ray for 2025. So, in 2025, I've put season 11. Considering that 2023, we've got season 9. I really think they kind of want a Pertwee season every two years so 2025 i really think it could be season 11. season 11 has only got one story that basically just need a little bit of work on which is invasion of the dinosaurs where season seven most of the stories in that season needs work on apart from the first story which is actually sparehead from space i really do think pertwee's last season might be second to last for the pertwee era then, of course, in 2025, I've actually put season 21 because we only need three seasons of the 80s now, which is, of course, season 20, season 21 and season 25. And I really think in 2025, we could have season one because season one, it's my favourite Peter Davison season, I have to admit, even though it does have Warriors of Deep in it. And I do like that story for what it is. It also has some great stories like Frontiers, Resurrection of the Daleks. There's res yeah, Resurrection of the Daleks. And then, of course, we have the Planet of Fire. And, of course, the case of Andrew Sarni and the Awakening. Where the two bad stories of the season, people would say it's actually Rose the Deep. But I'm going to say, no, the worst story of the season is, of course, the Twin Dilemma. I really hate the Twin Dilemma. It's not a great story and I do not recommend it to anybody. But even though when it comes out in the collection for season 21, then, yeah, I would you would have to get it for the box set. And then for 2025, for the third and final box set of the year, I've actually put season one, the Holy Grail season, the season that started off Doctor Who. Yeah, I really think season one might be in 2025 because I really think the BBC might want to bring out season six before they bring out season one because season one is only missing Marco Polo. But there again, though, they could say season one could come out in 2024 and bring season six out in 2025 but i really think they might probably want to put a trout and season out before they get to another hartnell because at the moment we've only got hartnell we've got pert we've got baker we've got davidson we've got colin baker and so it's quite on blue right i really think they kind of want to bring out a trout and season before they get back to another hartnell season 2026 now this is an absolutely interesting one i've put now for 2026 i've actually put season 13 Originally, when I first did this last year, I put season 13 for 2023, but I've kind of held back on it and put it in for 2026 because I really think it might be 2026 because season 13 it is a popular season of the fourth Doctor. It's the second season of the Finch Hinchcliffe era. So I really think the BBC might just want, you know, to basically hold back on it. And then, of course, for the second and final box set of 2026, I've had to put Season 4. Now, Season 4, I would have put a bit more earlier, but with the Smugglers and the Underwater Menace coming out in animation, I'm pretty sure they kind of want to animate the Highlanders. So if they do want to do that, I think they'll probably wait for Season 4 to be complete because it's just that one story now that just needs to be animated. And then Season 4 is basically complete. I really do think they might wait for that one. Then, of course, in 2027, I've put three box sets for 2027. So the first box set of 2027 is, of course, Season 7. Season 7, I really think that might be the last Pertwee season ever to come out on Blu-ray 
because I know they've got to do a little bit of work on Ambassadors of Death and, of course, Doctor Who and the Silurians. I'm not too sure about Inferno because Inferno has had a special edition with it being all touched up. So I really think, yeah, Season 7 might be the last Pertwee season and I think that will probably be out in 2027. And then, of course, also for 2027, I've actually put Season 16, the final season for Tom Baker. Now, they probably might do this differently and bring out Season 13 last, but I really think Season 16 might be the best way to end the Tom Baker Blu-ray run because it's not a very popular season. The Keys Time isn't. Not many people do enjoy it. I have to admit, I do enjoy it. It has got three good stories in there and three bad stories. <laughs> stories that I really do not think I would actually enjoy in Blu-ray, but I might do, not depending. And then, of course, for the final box set for 2027 is, of course, Season 5, which is the, you know, Season 5. It's nearly complete. It just needs the wheel in space. So I think... Yeah, possibly season five might come out in 2027. And then the final year of these box sets for 2028, I've only put two box sets. So the first one I put is, of course, season three, where season three is the most missing season out of the 60s. All the stories have been wiped apart from three actual surviving stories. Some parts of stories have survived, like the Special Toy Maker Part 4 or Episodes 2, 5 and 10 from the Daleks Master Plan. I really think they kind of want to do a bit more work on season three before they released it with Telesnap Reconstruction. So season three might be the last one. And then of course for 2028, I'm not too sure this one might come out at some point if I do get around to doing it, a Wilderness Years box set. Yeah, I really think a Wilderness Years box set might be brilliant to do because one, they can actually put Paul McGann on the cover because in the Wilderness box set we had Oh, we had Diamond uh, Dimensions in Time where they kind of did their EastEnders crossover with the first, well, for basically from the third to the se seventh Doctors. And then, of course, we had the TV movie in 1996. Then, of course, we had The Curse of Fatal Death, which had Rowan Atkinson playing an alternate version of the ninth Doctor, Richard Grant as an alternate version of the tenth Doctor. I think we had Jim, I can't remember the. A uh, huge, huge grant, and then we had the one that plays Professor Slughorn in Harry Potter in the Half Blood Prince and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. In there, uh, Alice was voice later from Only Force and Horses, and we had a woman as well. I really think that would be on there as well. And then, of course, Scream of the Shalka. And they could actually throw in some big Finnish cartoons that we had back on BBC iPlayer at the time, like Death, Death Comes to Time, and of course. Real Time, which stars Colin Baker in a story with Cybermen. And then, of course, the Paul McGann cartoon version of, you know, of um, Sharda. And then, of course, they could easily add in Night of the Doctor to it. So, yeah, that's my predictions for these box sets from 2023 down to 2028. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this. Do you agree with me on some of these or do you not agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Please do like, subscribe, share and join for more awesome Doctor Who content. Have a cracking day, you amazing viewers and subscribers.